Assalamu alaikum and a lovely, lovely morning again to all of my students and whoever is watching this video right now. I hope and pray that you're all in a very good health. You're enjoying yourself, enjoy your lectures, enjoying the day and uh, sharing and caring and spreading happiness. So we are in our um, social studies class and we're going to discuss something um, which is very, very near to us. Uh, it is equally important as other things. Why? Because this is all what connects us. So uh, we'll, where we live, uh, we live like a family, right? In our homes, like we have a family in which we have like parents, uh, mother, father, kids, or maybe some grandparents as well. Uh, so that is called a family. And that unit, uh, makes one family like we have the same units all around us if you go out in your neighborhood around um, there are all these kind of units uh, where there are families so uh, the place where you live in there are like a couple of families living together uh, together in the sense in the same area right when you go out you meet your friends like you have neighborhoods around uh, so that is called a society right where the people are living uh, and uh, they are in the neighborhoods that is called society so we are going to just discuss today about the society what is the society and uh, what are the norms of the society what do you have to do uh, living in the society uh, what should we do so before uh, um, i start i'm just going to share a video with you uh, in which uh, we will be discussing about uh, the society, right? Learning about a community. What is a community? A community is a neighborhood, a place where you find a lot of different things, where there are bus stops, traffic, cars, where there are schools, hospitals, and community centers like mosques, etc. or a gym. You regularly see buses, school buses mainly, around the community, shops, markets, and parks. We all live together in a community, different types of people. That's what a community is like. Yeah, thank you. So uh, you've seen what the community or society is. Uh, where you're living, uh, you have seen when you go out, you see roads, uh, there are cars on the roads, uh, there are uh, buses on the roads. Then um, you have playgrounds to play uh, in your society, in your community. Then there are community centers like mosques and maybe uh, uh, there are mosques as well. And uh, uh, the marquees um, where uh, we can have like parties and marriages and uh, um, occasion like we can celebrate um, uh, over there and we can have functions over there. So that is called the community center. and. Uh, 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 there are like uh, parks as well, there are schools as well. And yes, there, there, that well, the very important thing is that a hospital or maybe a dispensary over there. So when we go out in a community, in a society, we see all of these things. And yes, there are like superstores as well, small stores where you can, you can go and buy uh, your daily stuff. Mm, not like as in proper shopping when you go out, uh, but like um, something to eat, something to shop for grocery, like eggs and breads and milk and uh, something like that, uh, vegetables and fruits. So the, that is the part of the community, the society. And we are also the part of the society. So I'm just going to uh, give you a little detail about uh, what the society is, right? So uh, that is uh, uh, the place where all of us are living uh, together, right? Uh, the large group of people, and we uh, in society, we share the same laws. We share the same rights and we share the same resources like the water, uh, the air, 
uh, we have like almost the same kind of uh, houses where we are living. Almost every got, everybody has got the same kind of um, uh, houses over there. So in our society, like in Pakistan, this is a society, the whole of the Pakistan, right? Um, in a society, even like people can live far away or even near, but they are still the part of the same society. So um, we have the same, or mostly we have the same religion. Yeah, some of them are like, they have different religions as well, but they fall in the same society because they have the equal rights, they follow the same rules, uh, they follow the same laws, and they have uh, the same resources. Uh, so we share the same things. Um, but yes, being a Pakistani, uh, this is the society. So uh, people living in different cities of Pakistan are of the same societies because um, we all share the same flag. We all have the voting rights. Everybody who is 18 years, uh, they have the voting rights. Uh, everybody in Pakistan has the same leadership. Uh, yeah, they, they have the same leadership, uh, if you have seen. And the people around us here, near, and even the far away, like in different cities, even if it, they live in Karachi, Islamabad, the Peshawar, or Quetta, or like in any other uh, a, a smaller city, they uh, have, we are, we fall in the same societies. Right. So knowing uh, the society, there are like some rights, uh, as I, I discussed that um, we uh, follow uh, or we share the same rights, but with the rights comes first duties. We should know about the duties living in the society. So there are a couple of uh, morals uh, living in the society which you need to understand because that plays the very important role, uh, like respect. Yeah, so um, uh, uh, we should respect everybody. First of all, we are living in our family. We should respect our parents, our grandparents, our siblings, our helpers, whoever is there, a uh, helper who drives a car, maybe a helpers who cook for us, or maybe a helper who washes a laundry, do laundry for us, and maybe a helper who cleans for us, right? So we should respect every single person, even when we go out, there are like neighborhood, we should respect all our elders, we should greet them whenever we see them, we should say, Assalamu Alaikum uncle, Assalamu Alaikum auntie, uh, or whoever you're going to meet your friend, Assalamu Alaikum friend, how are you? So this is the main part of showing the respect and you're going to start with your family. Right, because that is the integral part for respect. You're going to start from your family, and um, you are going to make sure that you are going to respect every single person. And starting from your family, then going around outside in your neighborhoods, then your friends, then when you're going to school, you're going to go for grocery. Whoever going to you're going to meet the people who are, are there, who are the community helpers over there. The salesperson, you're going to greet them, say assalamu alaikum, treat them nice, treat them well, give them a smile because uh, giving smile is even sunnah, right? Saying salam is sunnah, passing smile is sunnah. So you're going to pass a very nice, pass a very nice smile to them, say assalamu alaikum, and then mm, ask whatever you're there for. Maybe you're there uh, you're with your friends, you're going to play with, or maybe you are. Um, uh, you went out to school, uh, maybe you went out for uh, to buy some groceries or maybe vegetables or fruits or maybe something else, right? So there are some morals and respect is the very, very, very important moral because that spreads uh, comfortability, happiness, peace around us, right? So um, you need to adjust and compromise in the family and society. There are some things which maybe you don't like, and it is in the family um, uh, as well. So you need to compromise on that. It's not that uh, you are going to eat uh, daily whatever you like. Um, you are going to go out whenever you like to go, and you, uh, the people are going to treat you the way you want them to treat. It's not going to be the same, right? So we need to adjust in the family as well and in the society as well. And then we have to compromise on some things as well to live a comfortable, healthy, happy life in the family and in the society as well. Then we need to respect all the religion. 
every religion has uh, like uh, the people of the uh, different religion have the respect and that religion we need to respect all the religion right um we are muslims we need to respect all the muslims we have christians brothers and sisters living in our society we need to respect them and their religion as well we have hindus living over here we need to respect them and their religion as well we have Sikhs as well we need to respect them and their religion we have parsis as well so we need to respect them so there are like different religions we have to respect we cannot like say <coughs> any bad thing to them just because they're not muslims uh, this is not the right way why because respect is the most important thing you should give them respect and when you're going to give them respect they will get to know that yes being muslims that means that you need to be very nice polite and respectful to everybody right so that is the very very important uh, thing uh, giving respect to the people and giving respect to the religion and their thoughts maybe whatever they're saying you don't like it or maybe it does not match your religion or faith but then you leave it there and then you're not going to uh, argue with them right you're not going to fight with them that you're wrong i'm right that is not the right attitude right uh, because uh, there is uh, justice as well in the society for everybody who is living even if uh, there is somebody who is Muslim and if there's somebody who's non-Muslim, the justice of Pakistan for everybody is equal, right? If I'm going to do something wrong with a non-Muslim, I'll be punished in the same way as a non-Muslim is going to behave with me, right? There is no such thing as uh, in law for like Muslims and non-Muslims uh, uh, different. Uh, because we're all humans, we share the same society, we share the same laws, uh, we have the same rights, and we have the same duties. So the law for everybody is the same, right? Then honesty is also very, very important in the society. If you're respectful to somebody, you'll be honest to them. You're not going to play with uh, the emotions, you're not going to play uh, with anything of them. So honesty is very, very, very important. And being a Muslim, uh, being a very good human, honesty is, and they say that honesty is the very, very best policy. So honesty is very good. You're not going to say, you're not, if you're honest, you're not going to lie. If you're honest, you're not going to steal anything. If you're honest, you're not going to hurt uh, anybody, right? And if, God forbid, you hurt somebody, you are going to accept that, right? Because hurting anyone is very, very, very bad. Um, maybe sometimes uh, we hurt somebody uh, without the intention that, okay, that's okay, that's not a problem. Uh, but uh, you are not going to hurt anybody with your tongue saying something or maybe with your body uh, both ways we are not going to hurt anybody because if you need to meet somebody you're going to pass the smile you're going to greet them then there is no chance you're going to hurt anybody and if somebody says something uncomfortable to you stay away right from that person um Try to tell them that you're not going good, and but don't make it a point where you fight or maybe you argue like that, okay? So honesty is very important. And then there's another thing that we should uh, do with the small kids, right? Uh, that is even very, very important that doing uh, uh, good deeds uh, for the kids. And I'm just going to share uh, the picture with you, right? I'm going to share a picture with you okay now if you look at this picture this says why you should do good uh, in the in our society or in our community why should we have well why we should do good even with the kids so first, the thing is that it is going to make them feel very good when you're going to smile at somebody when you're going to greet them they're going to feel good and in return they will make you feel good even you smile at somebody, the other person is automatically going to smile at you. You're going to say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. The other person is going to say the same thing. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Right? Then this is going to help you understand people who are different from you. Right? Everybody is different. I'm different from you. You're different from me. Uh, we think in a different way. We uh, perceive in a different way. 
right so when we are nice to the people that it, that makes it easy for us and uh, to understand them right and then we then when we make them comfortable uh, we uh, try to understand them um, make them feel good then that is going to cause a chain reaction right and that goes to all the people if we are spreading happiness we are spreading comfortability the other person is comfortable so that person is going to share the same to the other people right as well and then everybody will be happy so do you want to start helping others too right so this is the way uh, we can share good things as we discuss daily, as we have discussed in the banana as well, that we have to care for people. So first thing, what you do when you see somebody, when you meet somebody, you see each other, right? You pass the smile. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And other, other person is automatically going to say, uh, uh, to uh, see you, to uh, pass the smile, and the person is going to say, Walaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And that person will be comfortable, right? And, and now, when he's comfortable, uh, you will uh, understand the person very, very uh, easily. And then begin to make the chain, spread the happiness, spread peace, spread positivity. And uh, that is how uh, that is how we are going to produce healthy societies because everybody will be happy, cooperative, honest, respectful, not hurting anybody, and everybody is getting the equal rights. Everybody is uh, falling in the uh, same justice uh, system. So everybody will be comfortable. Everybody will be happy. So this is our society. We we'll live in this society, and it's our duty to make this society beautiful by spreading the positive things, right? So you, being a child, can do very, very big things. You can make the change. So uh, because kids are so beautiful, they're so pretty. They are all time positive. They're smiling. They're spreading positivity, happiness. So you are going to do that. So in your family, you're going to um, be respectful for every, everybody. When you go out, be respectful for everybody. So it says, wow, this child is such a nice child. His parents has raised him so well. And he's going to a good school too. And this is a very, very, very nice child, right? So this was a social studies class in which we have discussed about society and we are going to make all the positive things we spread all the positivity in the society okay so i'm going to say goodbye from this class now and we'll see each other in the next class soon till then stay safe be happy and spread positivity be grateful for whatever you have okay see you soon inshallah till then allah face smiling <laughs>